So let's check out how to set up GraphQL server with GraphQL Yoga and Node.js. So if you check out this Prisma's GitHub page, then you can see that they have this GraphQL Yoga repository, which allows you to set up GraphQL server. Okay. So I'm going to install this GraphQL Yoga and then set up GraphQL server with Node.js. Okay, so what we can do is open command prompt and let's see and now we get to a directory where I want to set up my GraphQL demo project. So I'm going to type in make directory GraphQL demo. Okay, once you set up this directory, what you can do is navigate to that directory. Okay, sorry. Right. Once you navigate, you can use yarn init dash y for creating package .json. You can also use npm init dash y. That should accomplish the same thing. Okay. Next thing is let's create one directory named source. Okay. And once you create that directory, you can create one file uh, within that directory using let's say notepad and then src index.js. This should open notepad with your index.js. Okay, alternatively for Mac and Linux user, you can use touch, then src, then use index.js. Okay, that should accomplish the same thing. And next thing we are going to do is open index.js in our text editor. Here you can see I have created that one and open from source directory. Now what we're going to do is we are going to install GraphQL Yoga with yarn add GraphQL dash yoga. Similarly, you can also use npm installed npm install double dash save dash dev and then you can use graphql dash yoga okay. so both of these will do pretty much the same you can either use yarn or npm okay next thing let's open the text editor and here you see uh, index.chairs and here you can call for this constant. Let's name it GraphQL server. And it should point to require and GraphQL yoga. Okay. Next thing to do is you can create type diff. So type diffs are basically where you are going to define your queries, okay? So what you can do is, you can simply use type query and set your query for, let's say, info string, okay? Now, next thing that you can do is, similarly, you can also create resolver, okay? So before that, let's just, Close this, okay. And after that, you can also create resolvers. Okay, and here I'm going to use query, and within Within query, what we're going to do is I'm going to use info that we created with string and I set some value for the same, something like let's say Debnami Node.js GraphQL server. Okay, and after that, finally, we can just use constant server and here we can create. GraphQL server, and let me 
me just remove S and here what we're going to do is we're going to enclose our type def like this one also resolvers okay and once you do that you are ready to create the server start okay now inside this you can point to message such as console.log so in draft your server start Now let's go through the board and check the issues here. So we have to set up this constant type div properly. Here seems to be an error with. So what we have done here is we have managed to get hyphen here, which I missed. So hyphen at the start, hyphen at the end. So all you have to do is you have to uh, make sure that when you use equal sign then you use this hyphen at the start and a hyphen at the end when you finish your schema query okay so once you do that you can save it also make sure that you have any type or so within your server declaration where you point to type def and resolver you have to point that as well okay after that open console then type in node, then space, then src, and then index.js. This should start GraphQL Server, and you can open your browser for localhost 4000. Okay, so 4000 is the port where you can create your GraphQL queries by default, as you can see, available schema, it's set right here. You can also click on schema and you'll find that queries are listed here. Okay, so all the help that you need will be listed here. Okay, so any query you want to type, something like query info, which we already declared here, it should display us the output. Okay. If you type that, it should return the error here as you can see then type in four and hit enter and it should output this okay so you get the idea of how to create a graphql server with graphql yoga node module package